پیاده آمده بود و پیاده همه رو تلسم قربت امشب شکسته میشه سفره خیلی هشم دگه بسته می کسی که از این کسی نتس محروم بود میره با ملیه خمود همه جون بود میره همو کودکی که هیچ وقت هم به زینه دش جزختم به متسه آرزوی ندش ما قرم جایی که دگه نگن پولیسا پایم خاری با تو هم بایسا Hello and welcome to the uh, Sean Kelly on Movies podcast. Uh, I apologize again for yet another three-month hiatus. Um, I had a lot of things going on at the beginning of the year and I never got around to recording a podcast, but I'm back with a pretty um, important episode, well, based on the um, political climate. Um, So in uh, response to um, Donald Trump's travel ban in the U.S., um, Hot Talks has decided to uh, have a uh, free series at the uh, Hot Talks Ted Rogers Cinema. Uh, it begins uh, today, as you're listening to this, and the um, series is called um, Banvis Series, and it uh, features all um, documentaries from the countries that were included in uh, Donald Trump's travel ban. So, um, one of those films is an Iranian documentary called uh, Sunita, which I saw at the uh, 2016 Hot Dogs Film Festival, and uh, while I was uh, covering Hot Dogs last year, I um, spoke to the uh, director of uh, Sunita, who is, okay, I'm going to mispronounce this, Roxera Gaimagami? (laughs) Well, I uh, interviewed the director of Sunita, and we uh, talked about the uh, themes of the film, so I am going to uh, play that um, interview uh, for you now, and uh, you can go see uh, Sunita for free at the uh, Hot Dogs Ted Rogers uh, Cinema on Wednesday, March 8th at uh, 3.30 p.m. Uh, I also reposted my review of the film, and uh, I'll uh, talk to you after the interview. So um, how did you first come across Sunita? Uh, so I, I met Sunita through my f- cousin, who is a social worker, and she is working. she was working in the organization that she was supported and I was supporting her and she called me and told me that uh, there is a girl here who is a social uh, who's a uh, who's trying to be a rapper and she's talented and maybe you can come and meet her and see what you can do for her I mean she means if I can introduce her to some of my musician friends to train her or record her music so I went there and I met her, and after a while I got interested in her more. I, mean, I kept meeting her. and then So uh, how long did you um, spend on m- filming? Uh, I think the whole thing, from meeting her till the last shot in the movie, got like two years and a half or something. Mm-hmm. So um, what were you thinking when it seemed like Sunita was going to be sent back to Afghanistan to be sold into marriage? I mean, it was it was a lot of feelings. You know, you uh, somehow like it because you're a filmmaker and you need problems in your movie. So in some way it was something exciting. But then in another side was I was worried I was sad as a human being. So and also then. I didn't know what to do because I didn't know if if I help, I will kill the drama, I will kill the challenge in the story, and if I don't, then, I mean, it's, I don't feel good if I don't help at all. And it was like a challenge between my filmmaker side and then my myself, and also my feelings, you know, human, as a human being, but then, or as a friend, or as a, but then also, if I help this situation, what will happen to the the story, and then if I help it, and then don't tell about about how should I reflect it in the movie? Should I be hidden? Should I tell I did this? Should I appear in the movie or not? Or how should I finish the whole all the the concerns? About it? Yeah, well, there, there is the point when you pretty much become a character in the movie, and yeah. <laughs> and um. So what were your ethical concerns about your decision to actually intervene with Tini and pay the two thousand dollars for six months? My, yeah, this is, uh, I mean, like, 
If I don't help her, she will lose her trust in people. Mm -hmm. She will, first of all, she will lose her life somehow, probably. I mean, we were never sure that the mom really, it was a big theory by my crew that the mom and her, with Sonita together, just made up this story to rip, uh, rip me off. So some people believe that they are not, they really don't. Also the woman in the movie who said why she was uh, smiling, she didn't believe her. She, they were thinking there is no husband, there is no nothing. They just plan these things because there is a crew, they think they can rape us off, they can get some money from us. But then at the same time, I was just thinking, I, don't, I, never, I never know that. Because they claim that I never found if there was a real man there or not. Mm -hmm. But then it was something that was happening for many girls and many people. And also, obviously they were really, really as poor as they were saying, telling to me. They were really poor, couldn't afford to eat food or warming house, or this thing. So, and the, the problem with brother was real. So all of these things I had to figure out. I, at some point I was thinking, I don't care if they are telling the truth or not. And if I don't help, Sonita will lose her trust in people. And also she can be sold, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think the major theme of the film is the whole patriarchal society that she lives in. Mm. That um, Sonita's even told that it's uh, illegal for women to be musicians. I mean, there are two different things, yeah. And these traditions are Afghan traditions mm -hmm. of selling girls. This is not Iranian tradition. So in Iran, they don't sell girls, but still, yeah, singing for women is forbidden in Iran. Yeah, all these, yeah, all these things, you're right. All these pressures on women, in, somehow in Iran, in another way, and more really in Afghanistan, the pressure is more harsh, you know, just like... Because in Iran it is applied, I mean, the pressure is mostly from the government, and in Afghanistan it's from people. Like, the society is very suppressive to them. Mm. So, both countries are a lot of problems for me. So, um, how did the um, music video come about that played at one point in the film, the Pride for I mean, Yeah, I mean, I and Sonita were thinking about... Uh, so I was thinking about the song and I was thinking about how to visualize it and we were cooperating and I was helping her with the concept and ideas and, whoa, and just how to... We, we did it together and mostly I did the music video and she did the song. And it was like a cooperation project we did together. We were thinking about it before these things happened but she was always concerned about this because she knew that this, this has happened to her before. Also it had... Before this happens, she, and before I know her, also this had ha, this problem had been in her life that she they were planning to. Once her brother wanted to give her to a man and take the man's sister for himself, so like exchanging girls mm -hmm. without paying money. Mm -hmm. So she had been exposed to this problem before. So we before even this happens, we we have been talking or thinking and developing the. Um, things together and after the mom left we were more focused it's just mm -hmm. we worked hard to make it happen to record it and to develop the whole thing and rip yeah so when the mom left it became our project so is, um, so neither is rap music commercially available yet is it? no it's not that it's online everybody can have access to it mm -hmm. it's not it's not something commercial no. mm -hmm. like, oh I, I noticed that Firstly, she has a YouTube channel where the music video is posted. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Could you provide an update on how Sunita is doing since the film finished? Oh yeah, she is in Utah in high school and she is, she is studying, you know, she is in high school for the first time. She has never been in a school in her life because in Iran she didn't have any ID identity card so she couldn't really go to a real school but now she goes to school in America. So. Oh. She's in high school and she studies. So, is she going to stay in the U.S. or is she going to go back? She's, no, she tries to go to college and continue her studies. Mm -hmm. And then she wants to be an activist and change things in Afghanistan, I know. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, that's not a... She won't be sent back to home, I yeah. hope so. I mean. So it's like, pretty much the climax of the film is trying to get her the visa to go to the U.S. <laughs> Yeah, that was difficult. That was the, I don't know if it was the climax, but yeah, that was um, getting, I mean, we couldn't really uh, tell the, it was very difficult to get her papers in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. but it was, because we did it through a lot of connections, uh, we couldn't really tell it in the movie, because it was not, 
safe for the people. I mean, people already helped us, but mm -hmm. it was like not very in a very official legal way, just like through a lot of connections and helping because we it was not easy. And at the end, it didn't we didn't end up. I mean, just some people just helped us to get them. Because we couldn't prove a lot of things about her birthplace and things, so people helped us to get her papers. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, the, the, well, the film suggested that um, Sunita's mother was not happy that she went to the U.S. And mm -hmm. was there ever a change of heart? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Now she is. She is. Sunita is helping her family financially, and now they are more happy with her being in. The but that's all I can tell. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And uh, that is my. Uh, interview with the uh, director of Sunita. I uh, apologize for um, not being able to uh, pronounce her name well, but I uh, will say that um, Sunita is a uh, very uh, powerful film and I actually um, look forward to uh, rewatching it when it plays at the um, Hot Talks to Rogers Cinema on uh, Wednesday. And um, you can uh, see the film and all the other films uh, as part of the uh, band this series, which will be playing f at the Hot Dogs Ted Rogers Cinema from March 6th to 8th. Uh, you can uh, claim your free tickets from the website. All that information will be put into the show notes. And uh, I am Sean Kelly, and I will see you next time.
باشه خوری شمو نفوشی به طوری یادگاری باشه